TCAP retest scores are in tonight from the state and the numbers are still a little concerning. Thank you for joining us. I'm Joe Burns. And I'm Joy Redmond. So here in the Memphis Shelby County School District, only a small percentage, Joe, of third graders who retook the English language arts portion. Of course, that's the ELA test passed. Action News 5's Tavarius Haywood joins us now with the breakdown. Hey there. Yeah, MSES students showed slight improvements on the retake. The percentage of those that moved from um, below to approaching is about 12%. Now, one parent I spoke with says, now, despite the gains, there's still too much pressure on students. It was stressful last year, but this year was extremely stressful. According to the latest TCAP retake test data from the Tennessee Department of Education, about 8% of MSCS third graders who retook the ELE portion passed. During the first round of scores, about 23% of all third graders passed. District officials say right now it's hard to say how many students make up that 8%. Pretty much from the beginning of the year all the way through, the emphasis was on TCAP. And um, for instance, in her class, they didn't get to go on any field trips. Um, there weren't any extracurricular activities with school because teachers were forced to concentrate solely on TCAP. Data doesn't show exactly how many students took the initial test, but shows the participation rate is about 95%. There were quite a few occasions where I'd pick her up and she would be distressed in tears. She didn't know why she was so upset, but there was a lot of pressure at school to do these practice tests. They're long. Um, and I think it was just too hard. According to Tennessee law, third grade students who do not score proficient or better get a choice between attending Summer Learning Academy and attending tutoring for the duration of the next year. This is not what learning is about. She's nine years old. You should have a love for learning, not a fear of it. Students who score below must attend both Summer Learning Academy and tutoring sessions. If parents do not enroll in those intervention programs, those students could be held back. Gowan says while our child did pass the TCAP this year, because of all of the confusion, she decided to pull her child from public schools. If you're going to be judging them on their English and their reading, and they missed out on that core year to really, you know, basically I think they were asking them to run before they could crawl. Yeah, parents can appeal. The State Department of Education does list pathways to the fourth grade. That information is going to be found on actionnews5.com. In Memphis, Tavarius Haywood, Action News 5.